Well, tonight from the 8 on your side team, making you smarter about your health. Millions of Americans have osteoarthritis of the knee. It can make getting around difficult and painful. Well, a relatively new procedure may help some patients avoid a total knee replacement. Medical reporter Susan Shapiro was in the operating room to learn more. And you can hear it like cracking and going on. John Eibach has a tough time getting out of a chair and walking. Like millions of Americans, the 70-year-old has osteoarthritis. His is on the inside of his left knee. The pain comes from bone rubbing against bone. Some days it's, it ain't a whole lot, and some days it, it's, it's really bad. Can I have the marking pen for a second? So Eibach is undergoing partial knee resurfacing at Lancaster Regional Medical Center. The relatively new procedure called macoplasty is less invasive than a total knee replacement. The big advantage is we can keep the healthy parts of the knee there rather than replace them. So uh, the patient will feel like they have more of a normal knee rather than a replacement knee. Prior to even opening up the knee, I mean... Orthopedic surgeon Seth Boblitz is able to visualize where the implant will go based on a detailed CAT scan that includes the tibia and the femur. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. He makes a small incision, exposing the diseased portion of Eibach's knee. The knee is supposed to have a nice pristine lining on it that's all white and, and very smooth, okay? This is all diseased. He's down to exposed bone here, very rough. That's all arthritis is. A computerized robot guided by sensors. Got it. Helps Boblitz map out points on the bone that will be removed with a motorized burr. So this robot is trying to eliminate that human error. He then uses the burr to get rid of the unwanted and diseased bone while keeping healthy bone and tissue. And this robot will really not let me veer out of a certain depth or plane. I can't touch anything on this table because it's sterile. It's filled with different sizes of trial implants. They'll be used to see what size Eibach needs and whether it works on his knee before the permanent implant is put in. So now I can make sure that this knee is balanced very nicely throughout a range of motion. We can actually watch how it moves on the screen. A surgical tech mixes up the bone cement. It will be hard as a rock about six minutes after it's used to hold the permanent implant in place. Okay, I think we'll keep that. I like it. It's good. So now we'll put in the real implants. This is a knee replacement, as you saw. I mean, it's just a variation. The two-hour surgery goes well. The goal is to get Eibach up and moving as soon as possible. You let me know if it's too much, though, okay? Weeks later, Eibach is in physical therapy at CPRS in Mountville, Lancaster County. To get the full motion back is very important to do functional activities as far as um, walking. It feels 100% uh, better, and, and it does feel good. He's looking forward to doing things he hasn't been able to do in a while like walking through the mountains in Potter County and mowing his grass. I'll probably be able to do some stuff that probably couldn't do before. Susan Shapiro, On Your Side, News 8. Wow, Dr. Boblitz says macoplasty is not appropriate for patients who have arthritis in all three parts of the knee. How important, there's so many people who need that surgery. Well, absolutely, and certainly worth all the sound effects, right? <laughs>